Hello and welcome to Bodybuilding.com's daily video trainer. This video series will be a 12 week diet and exercise program. You will have a video to watch every day for the entire 12 weeks. Workout plans, nutrition advice, motivation and supplementation, you'll get it all right here. So what's unique about this program? I'll be doing it right alongside with you. My name's Chris Gethin, and over the next 12 weeks, I'm going to be training with you. You'll see the exact program that I follow to get an amazing transformation. This program's not going to be easy. If it was easy, then everybody would be walking around with the physique that they desired. But if I can do it, you can do it. There's a thousand excuses that you can choose from, and if you're that kind of person, then walk the other way. If you want it bad enough, then follow me. So let's jump into training. The training split that we're going to be following is chest and triceps back and biceps, legs, and shoulders, calves, and abs. I like to train with a two days on and one day off training split for rest. So you're gonna be doing cardio twice a day and 20 minutes per session. There's some days that you won't want to do it, but you have to do it every day because it'll keep your metabolism firing, it'll help digest your foods, and it'll help utilize your stored fat as energy. Now I'm going to tell you how I eat, what I eat, and how often I eat, and this is exactly how you're going to eat as well. So to start with, I don't count calories. I don't want to complicate things, I want to keep it simple. I just count my portions. So if I was to eyeball my food, then looking at my protein, I normally go for about a fist size, which for me, when I weigh it out, it's about 200 grams. And I go for a fist size of complex carbohydrates as well, and normally that adds up to about a cup. Now I'll eat every two to three hours, which adds up to around six or seven meals per day. The main food sources that we'll both be eating on this transformation is protein, carbohydrates, and the naturally occurring fats. So the protein sources that we're gonna be eating are fish, poultry, steak, egg whites, and obviously your protein powders. The carbohydrate sources, they can be sweet potato, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, and you can also have oats as well. And lastly, fats. I don't take in many additional fats when I'm on a diet. When I'm not dieting, of course, I'll have my almonds and I'll have some olive oil and peanut butter. But when I'm dieting, I don't want those additional calories. But throughout the day, it's just the naturally occurring fat. Like in my steak, there is some in your, in your um, fish as well. So that's all the fat that you need when you're on a transformation like this. Now let's cover what you can drink. Obviously, number one, water is fine. I like to add Extend so I have some flavor, and I'll drink around a gallon per day. Other fluids, I like to have tea, um, I like to have coffee, but these are black. The reason being is because you're not allowed to have milk on this program. It's got lactose in it, which is a form of sugar. Same with soy. You can't have any soy milk. You've got to stay away from the sugars on the program. And the sweetener of my choice is Stevia. That's what I like to have, um, as it's a natural source of sweetener. And lastly, no booze on this program at all. Obviously, beer has a lot of empty calories that are pretty much useless to you. And I don't care if, like, red wine has a lot of antioxidants in it. Dark chocolate does too, but you can't have either on this program. On this program, there are no cheat days. Some programs will recommend that you have a cheat day just to take a rest or to speed up your metabolism. You don't take a day off from your training or from your cardio, so why should you take a day off from your diet? If you cheat on your diet, don't just put that behind you. You have to dwell on that and feel really bad about exactly what you've done. Because if you put it behind you the next week, you might do it again. And if you do cheat, you're only gonna get exposed when people who haven't cheated will look amazing at the end of the 12 weeks. And at the end of the 12 weeks, you'll be wondering what went wrong. Supplements. Now supplements aren't a magic pill, although I wish they were, that will replace a nutrition or training program. 
I'm not gonna give you all the intricate details on every single supplement right now. I will later on in a series, and you can read more about them on bodybuilding.com. But let's just go into the basics and what you're gonna need to get through this program to give you the best results and the fastest results possible. So supplements that you'll be taking every day, and I take every day, is number one, a multivitamin. So a multivitamin will help provide you with all the vitamins that you're gonna need throughout this program, help with your recovery, also has calcium, magnesium as well, all your minerals that you'll need. So I like to take that morning and night. Another thing that I like to take in the morning and at night are my omega fats. So this helps secrete growth hormone, helps with brain function, along with the many other health benefits too. I like to take digestive enzymes too, so go out and get some digestive enzymes. A lot of the food that you'll be taking, especially the protein, can be hard to absorb. It's not about the amount of protein that you eat, it's about the amount that you absorb as well. A pH balancer is something that you should be taking as well. This will help with your alkalinity levels. Glutamine. So this is something that I'll take every day also as well. It's an anti-catabolic agent, so it helps prevent the breakdown of muscle tissue. The protein powders I like to use are a couple of different kinds. I like to use isolate immediately following my workout because this is a very fast digesting protein that'll shuttle straight into my muscles for recovery. If I'm having a meal replacement, I'll go for a slower protein. So for that reason, I like to go for the CNP propeptide kind because it's a blend of different proteins. So I'm getting my fast, slow, and medium chain amino acids. Moving on to carbohydrates, the form that I like to take is Vitargo. I'll take that immediately following my workout because this is the fastest digesting carbohydrate I can put into my body to replenish those depleted glycogen stores. And lastly, I like to have BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. This helps with recovery. I like to take it in the Extend Powder formula because I add that to my water and it gives my water a nice flavor. So now let's move on to the performance supplements. There's a trifecta of fat burning supplements that I like to take, starting with green tea. The reason being it helps increase my metabolism and it slightly suppresses my appetite because I get very hungry during the 12 weeks. L-carnitine is the next supplement that I like to take. It helps me utilize fats as energy. And lastly, I like to use Yahimbi. The reason being is because it's a blood vasodilator, so it helps push blood into the adipose areas that you may hold fat. For me, it's gonna be my lower back and my ab region. Another performance supplement that I take is creatine. The reason being is that it'll help me push a few more reps in the gym, so it helps increase the intensity and the density of my muscles. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to build muscle or burn fat, because this helps with both. So that's your entire supplement shopping list. So make sure you go onto bodybuilding.com now and order that stack before you start your next 12 week assault. Now let's talk about tracking your transformation. To start with, you need to take before pictures. Always do this against a plain background so you can see the silhouette of your physique. You need to take a front shot, a side shot, and a back shot. Make sure it's in good lighting and that camera is steady so it's not gonna be a blurred image. Put them up on your body space, and when you're getting good comments from other people, it'll certainly encourage you to get through to the end. Testing body fat with calipers can give you an accurate indication of what your current body fat and lean muscle mass percentages are. Make sure you have it taken in the same place by the same person every time, or you can have conflicting measurements. So weigh yourself. I like to do it on a Monday morning before breakfast, just in my underwear on the same scales. Don't weigh yourself on different scales, you will get conflicting measurements. Make sure that you track your training as well. I like to log down my training every single day in my body blog, so I can see from day to day and week to week if I'm progressing with my weights, my reps, or my intensity. But just make sure that you write it down because studies do suggest that you're more likely to see through these goals once they're written down. So now I've given you a basic overview of everything that you need to know about nutrition, training, and supplementation, and the tools to get you through this transformation. So start up a body space now, it's free of charge, and join the Transformation Body Group so you can follow along with other people doing this transformation with you. All the info that you need is below on this page as well. So if you need a recap of that supplement stack, and also will be the workout log on every training day. So you can take that to the gym 
print it out and log your workouts as you're training. Remember, I'm going to be there with you every step of the day in the gym and on the non-training days giving you all the info that you need to have a successful transformation and be a winner at the end. Tomorrow is going to be our first day and it's going to be a training day. We're going to start off with a hard one, we'll be training legs. But that's good because everyone else will be doing chest in the gym so you'll have all the leg equipment to yourself. 